Welcome to Hearthstone Stories, where I have more copium than last episode. Last episode, I talked about how I just don't find much fulfillment in being legend in Hearthstone. And surprisingly, a lot of you agreed with it. A lot of you were telling me about your experience about grinding for legend and how it's just not fun, about how you keep seeing the same decks and that's not a good time and all of that stuff. Basically, what it came down to is none of you are having a good time. And, I mean, of course you're not having a good time. You're playing against Demon Hunters right now. I I'm not playing against a Demon Hunter. Uh, never mind. With all of that being said, I do think there are good reasons to hit Legend. I don't think it's just, oh, Legend sucks. I mean, I do think it's like that, but like, it could, it's not always like that. <laughs> now, is this me just going back on what I said earlier so I don't have to go cope? Maybe, maybe not. I just don't think I made it very clear about all the good things that come out of trying to be legend. Like this guy, this person's a legend. You look at the card back. Oh, wait, what? What? Okay, I, I never mind. This person is not legend. Do you see this play? And don't even worry, dude. A legend player like myself knows it counters a spell. Oh, legend play. Legend player. What can I say? A legend player also does this willingly, but just wait. We got, we got the freeze going, it's okay. When you do hit legend, you do get a free legendary card and card back. I guess you really don't need the legendary card, because if you already hit legend, you probably don't need the card, because you're already legend, and you probably have good cards. It's absurd that you have to go to one of the highest ranks you can, probably the highest rank in Hearthstone, just to get a free card back. That's kind of stupid if you ask me. Maybe I'm just poor and I want free stuff, I don't know. But in terms of the card back, I have a question for you. Answer this honestly. How many times have you actually looked at your card back? I'm being 100% serious here. How many times have you looked at your card back? I mean, I, I guess I did look at their card back a turn ago. You see, my brain is telling me to play Ignite. Okay, I want to pick Rune of the Archmage, but Ignite's just fun. Ah, you're lucky, Paladin. You're lucky today. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a good feature to have. You definitely like looking at card backs, but how often do you look at yours? I don't look at mine very often. I'm looking at theirs. I, it's more of a fl oh, It's more of a flex, I guess. You know? Oh, I gotta flex my card back. You know, sometimes I try to look at the right, you know? Try to get a good peek at the card back, but it doesn't even show you the whole card back. I'm getting led on by a Hearthstone card back. That is a sentence I never thought I would say. Anyways, let's forget I said that. See, legend player means nothing. You still lost a silver 10 free to play account. Bloop, bloop, bloops. Honorable kill. <laughs> oh, I should probably mention this is the free to play account because it's May 17th and I am in silver 8. I need to start grinding this account more. I guess some people just like the experience of grind. Oh, I hit the mic. I'm so sorry. And my opponent isn't even playing the game. That's what I like to see. Let's go, let's go. Maybe some people just like that grind set, you know, making them high rank. Trying to climb the ladder and all of that, the fun stuff. Maybe people just really like doing that. And you know what? If you like doing that, good on you. <gasps> He's back. They're back. There is definitely something special about having a number next to your name. It makes you feel superior. And, and you know what? You are superior. Just because you have that number next to your rank instead of the actual rank icon, you are just a superior human being. There is no doubt about that anymore. I mean, I guess I have a number next to my name right here. Uh, you know what? I take back everything I said. You are the inferior being now. I have the number eight. I am always a lower number than you. If you're a legend, what, a thousand, a hundred legend? No, I have a higher number, or lower number, lower number. I have the lower number. I am the superior player. If you've ever done anything high level, like sports, I can really only think of sports right now, but sports, maybe you're a high level musician or a high level something else. You definitely know that the higher level atmosphere, ambiance, whatever you want to say, it's a lot different than the more casual stuff. Ooh, AFK win. We love it. Climbing the ladder. I just want Nost Dormu to be done. Oh my gosh, we got the double firepower. Whoa. <gasps> They're playing the old deck. I've played some high level sports in my time. I know that competitive feeling. Both team sports, single player sports. Am I, did I just say single player sport? What is wrong? Single person sports, not single player sports. What the heck is wrong with me? Now how these sports compare to a single player card game meant for people with the brain size of a peanut? Uh, I am not sure. <laughs> you know, I've never really been hyped up for higher level Hearthstone, you know? Wow. Am I getting outplayed? I think I'm gonna lose this game. You know, I've played some pr not high level Valorant, you know, like diamond immortal level Valorant. That's the highest I've ever gone. 
and I can say, yo, let's go, I'm gonna get hyped up for this game, but I never really wake up in the morning and say, yo, I'm gonna get hyped up to play Hearthstone, you know what I mean? It's like, oh my gosh, they be tapping. Yo, this is Poggers mode, this is high octane gameplay, as you can tell. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so hype. Wow, they didn't even complete their quest. Hype, 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 Poggers, or whatever you wanna say. Oh my goodness. I think that's always worse for you. Okay, not if you get fire, oh, not if you get my spells. Um, okay, no brand, okay. You had three opportunities to mill, and you did not mill Nazdormu. I don't know how I feel about this. How could you? I just want my Nazdormu gone. If you can get hyped up for high level Hearthstone, not even high level Hearthstone, just ladder Hearthstone, any Hearthstone in general, if that makes you super hype, you know, you're like running around the walls and stuff. I don't know what else you would do. You're like dyeing your hair yellow, looking like Yugi Moto out there. If you can hype yourself up that much for Hearthstone, you know what? Teach me your ways, okay? I need to know. I need to know. I need to follow how you do it, man. I need to learn. I will keep the Baba Naga. I'm not even sure the game is meant to do that in the first place. I'm going to be completely honest with all of you. To me, if you want to be a good Hearthstone player, you don't get spread bigger. You learn how to finish your sentences. But if you want to be a good Hearthstone player, you don't get bread spice baker. Wait, spice bread baker? I didn't know it was- how much did they heal? They healed 15. My favorite warlock weakness. Big healing, yep, I love it. My favorite warlock weakness. I'm getting twisting now, dude. Hey, at least it's not on the Drake fire turn. Wow, what a prediction. That's the legend level play. Nice. Nice. Nice, legend level play. What am I saying? What, what else can I say? What else can I say? To me, if you really want to be a good Hearthstone player, go enter a tournament. Not even just like a tournament, like Grandmasters. Just enter any Battle Fi, Battle Fee, whatever you pronounce it. Just enter one of those tournaments. Like anything in life, the top 1% and the top 0.1% are extremely different. Please be cool and hit the 3 3. Because I'm a legend player, exactly. A legend player would have hit the 3-3 right there. Actually, you know, now that I think about it, I probably should have just flat out taken out the 3-3. Ah, whatever. I'm scaring them. They don't know what's going to happen. Right. The top 1% in Hearthstone is Diamond 1, Diamond 2. I hate my life. This is a stupid, stupid, dumb, stupid, stupid. This is all because I didn't mill Nazdormu, all, all, I'm, all, all I'm saying. You know what I realized? I don't have Hook Tusk in this deck. Why do I run Shadow Step? I can Shadow Step to Smite, deal 12, I guess. The top 1% of Hearthstone players is like Diamond 1, maybe Diamond 2 if you're being really generous, and then the Legend players. Everything beyond that is not the 1%, the 99% I guess, but the top 0.1% of Hearthstone players, like top 100 Legend, I think top 100, that sounds about right. That 0.1% of Hearthstone players will absolutely wipe the floor with anyone else in that point, or the 0.99. I can't do math, I, I get, who am I kidding? I can't do math anymore, dude, I lost my math skills. That's not to say that high ladder is bad. High ladder is still pretty good. If you're top 20k legend, you're definitely better than probably most of the platinum players that are stuck there. They got a taunt on the board, they're better than I am. But when you start having four digits in your number for legend, that's when you know you're pretty good. You'd also be really good if you didn't draw two Shadows of Concealment and a Shadow Step on your Mulligan hand. And you know what? That's a good reason to try to hit Legend. Most people don't have enough time to go enter tournaments or anything like that, you know? They don't have enough time and resources or whatever you want to say to say, You know what? I am going to enter a Hearthstone tournament. Even though they just play this game for fun and nothing else. It's like reaching a high rank in any game, you know? You might not have enough time to go pro, and that is okay. You can be here with the rest of us, trying to just climb ladder. Man, I, just, I drew so bad that game. What the heck? This is my opening hand. Let's be honest, Hearthstone's a pretty casual game. You're not gonna see any high-octane, super sweaty- I mean, you do see super sweaty people, but like, not really. It's just a fun card game, you know? You're not really having some insanely challenging time trying to play it. Ooh. That's a, that's a coin right there. Wow, this is how you know you're in Silver Six. If you don't have the time to at least try a tiny bit hard, that's totally okay. People don't revolve their lives around this game. Unfortunately, I kind of have to considering YouTube, but like most other people don't need to revolve their lives around this game. I envy you a lot, Six. What the heck? Six? Six? Okay, wait, now I'm actually confused. What costs six mana for a spell? Wait, 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 wait. See? I totally revolve my life around this game, as you can tell, because I know exactly what 6 mana spell that is. I actually don't know what spell it is, I've been trying to think of it for the last 10 seconds and I don't. 
Hold up, I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna cheat. Let me just pull out the Hearthstone wiki. Oh, it's Blit. Oh, it's Blizzard. Um, uh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. What the heck are they playing though? They're playing a deck. They're just outplaying me because I don't even know what deck they're playing. It's gonna be Ice Barrier, fun times, fun times. Legend level player knows exactly what secret it is. Ho ho, that's totally a legend level play. Exactly, uh -huh. yeah, mm. There's just something about being legend. Part of it's luck. I know I don't want to say it like that, but let's be real. A big part of it's probably just luck. Can you just so happen to go against the right matchups in the right amount of time and all of that stuff? Part of that's just luck, man. Let's be real. Part of it's also skill, like this insanely skillful play right here. You play Smite, you bring it back to your hand, and then you can charge your other pirates. Oh, good, the, the, there's an amulet. Oh. <laughs> Skilled. <laughs> These are the days I wish I drew Puffer Fist. I was supposed to get Puffer Fist from that, but you know what? I, I guess I'm not allowed to get Puffer Fist from that anymore. Flash Burglar will save me, I trust, I trust, I trust. But sometimes you're just playing and it's about what matchups you just so happen to get or how lucky you drew, because last game I drew terribly. That's why I also, um, okay. Good. Hello, more dragons. I'm sorry I ever offended you. Uh, please forgive me. Oh wait, it doesn't cast because I didn't play it from their hand, see? A legend level player would know what that ha A legend level player would know how to speak English, but a legend level player would also know how that interaction works. Now I wish I picked the dredge, my life, my life. We're just setting up for the smite turn. Are you kidding me? A legend level player would be able to hit a pirate there. I know I drew all my pirates, so that's probably my fault. Do I not have puffer fists in this deck? Wait, what? Okay, well, I guess we'll find out on this turn. We'll see what I draw. That's another reason why I think tournament play is a lot more skillful. You get to see their decks. You get to see their decks. That's my whole board gun. Hit your own- What? I know it can't hit their own minion, but I want it to. But in tournament play, you can see your opponent- Or you don't see your opponent's decks. You see your opponent's classes, depending on what you play. Ooh, stealth me. Stealth. Stealth. Both fillet fighters and the bottom of the deck. We love it. We love it. You can play around certain decks. You got strategies for matchups. You can play around certain cards. How did you get Ice Barrier from your Rune of the Archmage? Are you kidding me? Oh, okay. Better player. Better player. Right now, I'm in a... Right now, I'm in a position where I'm running a Rustrat Viper in pretty much every single one of my decks because I am terrified of Warriors and Hunters and Demon Hunters and Paladins, which, to be fair, are pretty much the only classes played right now. But if I'm seeing a lot of Druids, I'm going to be very sad. Oi that I put that card in the deck in the first place because I don't need that card against druids. And it doesn't become a skill-based matchup, it becomes, oh my gosh, I hope I don't draw Rostrat Viper because I need that for other ladder play. Always watch out for the Rostrat Vipers. They're being playing in everything. I can never get a pirate, dude. I, I, I can just never get a pirate, man. No matter what I try, I will just never be able to get a pirate in my life ever again. We're gonna keep that actually. If you're running a tech card in your deck just because you're seeing a lot of, let's say, demon hunters or paladins in your ladder games, and then you go against something where that tech card's not useful, is it really that good of a tech card? No, that's just luck at that point. Oh no, my whole board. Oh, oh, my whole board again. It's okay, the smite turn's about to happen to them. You know what, I probably should have gone for a Shroud of Concealment that turn, uh, whatever, I don't care. Would have made a lot more sense to just pick it last turn, but you know what, it's okay, don't doubt me. Oh, I don't know my deck well enough. <laughs> you should doubt, you should start doubting me now. Oh my goodness, they do not want to stop playing the rune. They have no fear. Oh, and they fr if it's another ice barrier, I am- Okay, well now there's actually a good chance it's another ice barrier. If it is another- Oh, keep drawing cards, yes, yes, yes. You're gonna mill. I'm gonna mill way before you are, but still. Wicked stab. Dude, if it's another ice barrier, I am actually going to flip out. Okay, well, I forgot that was a secret. Now I just lost. We love it, and I love it, and I love it, and I love it, and I love it. It's another- It's the third ice barrier! The third one! This one wasn't even in your deck to start with. I had lethal, and it wasn't even in your deck to start. You know what? A legend player would have not gotten ice barriered for the third time that game. I'm really out here getting triple ice barriered, and then he's BMing me because I just got triple ice barriered. Two of them from Rune of the Archmage. You have how many secrets to choose from randomly? 
and you got Rune of the Archmage Ice Barrier twice. I know you played two secrets on that last one, but still, you don't get the right to BM, that was all luck! Moral of the story, Legend isn't the worst thing to get, I just don't like going for it. If you're feeling extra spicy, go for some tournaments, I know a lot of you don't have the time to do it, and Legend is perfectly okay for that. Subscribe if you liked the video, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you around.